I've made about five million on OnlyFans and I've got to show for it really. I would had really, really bad tax advice. I paid 400 grand in tax this year. What's the best month you ever had on OnlyFans? Um, 250 grand. For a man to make the same money a woman makes on OnlyFans, he's got to be doing illegal activity. I don't know if I'll continue doing OnlyFans when I'm pregnant. Probably will. No, I did that collab with HS. And nothing happened. Nothing. What's going on, guys? This video is sponsored by Louis. Some of you know I'm on Insta as loads. One of the best Instagram names, let me tell you that. Guys, Louis has been building online businesses for the last five to ten years, and he has spent the last five years coaching others one-to-one -one on how to start businesses. Louis's got over 2,000 profitable testimonials. And guys, let me be honest with you. I wouldn't let someone sponsor the show who I didn't vouch for. So trust me, it's legit. Literally, just go send him a DM on Instagram. It's at loads. All you got to do is say to him, I come from the Blue Tick Show, help me make some money. And I know most of these people out there, scams, and there's plenty of people out there offering you millions and millions of pounds and stuff like that. Louis is one of the 1% who actually do it properly, legitly. You don't need nothing. All you literally need is a phone and Wi-Fi. Send him a message and leave the rest to him. Guys, and if you want to know why I'm sitting here pushing it so much, it's because realistically... Doing a nine to five ain't gonna get you nowhere. And I know most people sit here and say this because they're getting some sort of commission for it and stuff like that, but I really ain't. I'm telling you as a good person, the host of the show, doing a nine to five ain't gonna get you nowhere. So go message Louis, say you come from the boutique show, just ask Louis for the business model, let him do the explaining and let him explain to you how he can help you. I'll see you soon. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to the Blue Tick Show. Opposite me today, I've got probably the most beautiful guest on the show yet. Oh. Bonnie Lockett, welcome to the show. That's very sweet. Did you say that, say that to I say that to all the guys. Oh. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? How are you? I'm good, thanks, darling. How are you? I'm very well, very, very well. Finally got you in. Yes, finally. You know, Sorry, I've been Probably the hardest there. person to lock down and get here. <laughs> well, I'm but here. We're here today. We've got two beautiful <laughs> little dogs joining us as well. Yeah, my little babies. Bonnie, awesome. for the people that don't know you, who probably live under a rock, <laughs> don't know who wouldn't know you but who are you talk to us a little bit about you um so i'm bonnie lockett and i do social media i do only fans as you know and um and yeah that's that's what i do there's a little bit more to you than i do social media i do only <laughs> talk to us who are you who age where are you from okay so i'm 35 nearly 36 you I... don't look a day over 21 darling thank you <laughs> i appreciate that i think you're lying but thanks no definitely not <laughs> originally i'm from lincolnshire uh, but I've lived in Surrey since I was 16. I went to uh, musical theatre college yeah. from the age of 16 to 19. I worked in musical theatre till I was 27. Then I did webcam for five years um, and then I started OnlyFans. And what, then that's... What made you get into webcam? My friend told me about it and I wanted to earn more money. So I started doing that kind of on the side as doing like my musical theatre stuff. Always confident? I've always been confident. Yeah. yeah, I've always I've lived a life on the stage. So like True. you from, have to be confident. You have to be. So from 3 years old I started dancing and then I was on the stage since I was 6 and yeah, I've been performing my whole life. So even though I was doing even though now I do OnlyFans or no, or I did webcam, it was still to it's you, still you all a perform. It's all performing. Yeah. My stage just changed. Do you know what I mean? It's not a physical stage now. It's just a digital one. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I do. I love it. Yeah, and I love going live and like talking to my fans and stuff. Even though I haven't haven't done that for a while, but yeah, I I do it. I I do enjoy well, it. Listen, yeah. you've got two million Instagram followers. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a big following. Yeah. How does a girl like you, who started off as webcam, gain two million followers? Um. Oh God, I don't really know how it all happened, to be honest. I mean, I started doing TikTok, then I went on the Sidemen a couple of times, and then. It just kind of grew, really. I did a lot of Instagram promotion as well. So I invested my money into Instagram promo. Do you think that works? It used to. Because I, I always I thought don't, about it, but I was a bit... Mm. I don't know as if it works as much anymore, but it definitely used to. Um, but it is difficult. And so many people are doing it now. So it's a very, very saturated market. Yeah. So when I started doing it, I blew up so much and so quickly because... It you know was not everybody was doing it whereas now everybody's doing it. Every so it single is, girls on OnlyFans girl it's, now. Yeah, it's more difficult. Everybody, you know, you through your, is it? link tree, link tree, link tree, link tree. A hundred percent. You know, lots of girls are doing it now, and you know, probably 
because of people like me who go on, you know, go on podcasts and say, oh yeah, this, that and the other. Like, why wouldn't you try it? But, yeah, you know, it is, it, is a, it is a difficult game, especially now. It's, it's tough. What's going on, guys? It's your host, Mikey Mellon. I just want to say thank you all so much for the support. Guys, I need a massive favor. Before we dive into this video, scroll down, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Let's go. And you was in a long-term relationship? Yes, I was. <laughs> you know, i got to be honest, yeah? I was one of them little boys who'd look at your Instagram and think, wow, oh, she's fit. Oh, let me DM her. Da, 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 da. And then found out you had a husband, well, partner. I was like, yeah. oh, fuck, she actually like... Because you know when you see a girl who's on Instagram who's beautiful, got her ass out, got her tits out, you think, how's she got a boyfriend? That's yeah. you think they're single. Yes, of course you do. Gone on there. Yeah. You had a partner and then went on there like just before the show because I was meant to get you on when you were still with your partner. Yes, I know. A week later, well, next time I DM'd you, you was like, uh, yeah, not with him no more. Yeah, I'm like, not working at the moment, so <laughs> you're going to have to give me a bit of time. I'm like, Sorry? Yeah. What happened? Oh, gosh. Uh, so we were together for 11 years and we got married. We were married for nine months. Um, and then it came out that he'd been cheating on me the whole time, pretty much. And uh, and yeah, so I, I I broke up with him and that, and that was it. So now, you know, I've filed for divorce and 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 now I'm I'm here and I've got a new boyfriend. And How quick after did you move on? Pretty quick. How quick? Yeah, very quick. Um, it was like so. It took three weeks for the whole the whole story to come out from Brad. Yeah, and I and, and after the three weeks when I knew everything that had gone on, um, I I met up with a with an old friend who had actually cut contact with because we did get feelings for each other before we had to like stop talking to each other. Is this and the stuff. friend you told Brad not to worry about? Hello. Scroll down. Hit subscribe. Let's jump straight back into it. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, because right. Well, See, basically, this is why we, I've got a rule. My girlfriend ain't allowed male friends. I have the same rule, but oh, we've, you got, we've been <laughs> you got that yeah. rule, yeah, yeah. Because I absolutely do. After what happened with me, I always thought that you know I could be friends with blokes, and I trust me, I've had a lot of bloke friends, and nothing has ever happened. Yeah, nothing happened with him, but we did, we did get feelings for each other. You know, I was. I was going out with him every weekend like I just you know when you just meet someone and okay. I was just so addicted to his personality and he was addicted to mine yeah we stopped talking before the wedding because we knew that we'd gotten feelings and, and I'm just not that girl was like, he with anyone seeing anyone no 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 single, he, yeah? yeah he was single I was obviously had a fiance and you know nothing was ever ever gonna happen there like I would never ever cheat contrary to popular belief I would never yeah, ever is, do is it is that not like it's emotional cheating. Yeah, yeah, it, it is emo- slightly babe, cheated. It like. is emotional cheating, and I I walked away from it. As soon, and sometimes as soon I as, believe, you know. yeah, this is just me. Yeah, you might think I'm wrong, but I think emotional cheating is sometimes worse than physical cheating. Only <sighs> because, like from a from a man's point of view. Yeah, because, I think like, that's from a man's from point a, of view. From a woman's, it's completely different. I think for, for for a woman, well, I've never had the emotional cheating thing. I've only ever had the physical, so I can't really pass judgment on that. But for me, I think physical is worse. Of course. As a woman. As, as a as, woman. As men, we're like, I don't want you going out on dates with a guy. But to be fair, sleeping with him, I, I hate it. All. No, I, I mean, any I cheat is anywhere. absolutely <laughs> disgusting. Like, it absolutely is. And, and yeah, so I, I would want to make that clear. That never, ever happened with me and um, and Johnny. But, yeah, we, we did. Well, as soon as we realised we had feelings for each other, we, we stopped speaking. Then, obviously, this came out about, um, about Brad. And then... Was you hurt? Oh, babe. Like, I've never felt devastation like it because you know what it is you seem so strong and confident just from meeting you yeah this yeah. is the first time i've ever met you and you seem like a strong woman i am a very strong you make woman. your own money you do your own thing yeah someone fucks you like fucks around is fuck off basically well yeah basically but 11 I mean, years with someone must have been hard it was it was horrifically hard you know i've i've honestly never felt feelings like it in my whole life and I really didn't know where to turn at that point. After if the, it took three weeks to come out, I knew the full extent of what had gone on, and I was I didn't know where to turn. I literally rang up my brother because I was living in Cheshire at the time because I'd rented this like massive mansion to live in to do like loads of content yeah, and yeah. stuff, which was sick by the way. But <laughs> I was away from everyone, and I, I rang up my brother, one of my brothers, and I just said, "I need you to come and get me. I need I need to I need to I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what what to do, where help. to go. I just help." And um, so I went to my a brother's house in Lincolnshire. My dad came round to see me. My brothers came round. It was all like... How did it come out? Uh, the girl trolled me the whole time that I was with Brad. And actually, 
Brad used to see this girl. So she was seeing him for like six months before I even came on the scene. Oh, wow. But he never wanted to be with her. Um, and I think that's obviously got to hurt, you know, so... She, he then and because got, of your social media influence, well, she's kind but of. But I wasn't, I wasn't at the you. time. Oh, you wasn't. I was a nobody, babe. I didn't do anything. Like I was yeah. just a dancer, you know. I, I didn't start in the social media game until like four, lockdown, four years yeah. ago. Yeah, lockdown. So yeah, it was nothing to do with social media or anything. You know, he he met me, he fell in love with me, and he wanted to be with me. Yeah. He didn't want that with her, and that's obvious. That is going to sting any girl. Of course. So then. Then she just started to do it. First, she started to message me on Facebook. Saying what, though? This video is sponsored by Cranbrook Law, an award-winning immigration law firm. Their talented solicitors can help when any struggles arise regarding immigration law. They can help get you the visas they need. They can help get you the staff you need from any other countries. As you can see, the website is on the screen right now. So if you need anything to do with immigration law, message Cranbrook Law and let them help you. Whether you're looking to obtain a sponsor license, receive advice and guidance in relation to compliance and our civil penalties, or take advantage of our know-how and experience across a broad range of business visas, our talented and dynamic immigration lawyers are available to speak to you. Telephone numbers on the screen, emails on the screen, and hit the link in the bio if you need any help just like we need we need a little talky um and then it would get worse and worse then you know um just just saying that she, you know she'd been with brad and all this sort but of you stuff you never believed any of this i know you, just, just, thought, you just thought it was a troll he just told me that she uh, like yeah i just thought it was a troll and and it wasn't until um it was probably and we just got engaged and she messaged me on Instagram. And this is when I'd started doing social, like doing social yeah, yeah. media stuff. And she would, it all everything that she sent me was always um, like fake Instagram profiles. So you can never pinpoint who it was. Yeah. And she would say, you know, that she'd been with Brad and this, that and the other. And I, and I just thought it was bollocks. You know, I'm not going to believe that. Is, when you've got that many followers and stuff, you're thinking, oh, fuck. So just someone trying to make an argument. Yeah, I just I just thought it was somebody trying to cause trouble and, and, and I didn't I didn't believe a word of it. Did she ever send screenshots and stuff like that? Well, this is it, right? So once she did send a screenshot, but it was a WhatsApp, it was a WhatsApp screenshot, but it was a fake screenshot because the signal was like you, you could actually go onto a website. We figured all this out, you go onto okay. our website and you can fake a conversation. And it wasn't the way Brag was speak anyway. Anyway, and, and then I realized I realized it was his ex. Who had but how been, did you find that out? Just for how I, I was pushing her and I, I can't remember now, this is a long time ago, yeah. but it came out that I mean she's not right in the head. Like she's she's addicted to all these like pills and stuff. And yeah, it just it just came out that it was her. Anyway, Brad obviously denied it till the cows came home. And the, and then the, take, the, take screen, that shit to your grave, the <laughs> screenshot was fake anyway, so I believed him. And yeah. the reason she did a fake screenshot is because she always pretended that it was somebody else. That was that yes, was trolling yes, me, yes, but yes, knew yes. about him and her because she always wanted to be with Brad, and he didn't want to be with her, and so she's got she's had this vendetta against me for years and years and years, and and anyway, but now it's like I've I've broken up with Brad, I've moved on, I've got a new boyfriend, I'm I'm ecstatically happy with this boy, man, uh, man, yeah, get it right, <laughs> <laughs> and um and and she has got a troll account that she's trolled me on since you know breaking up with Brad many a time, and the one person that she follows is my new boyfriend. So actually, I'm starting to think the obsession didn't lie with Brad; it I lied think she with like, me. I think she likes you. Maybe she I, wants you. I don't think she likes me. I think she. <laughs> I think she, she severely, you. severely hates me. Has your new partner blocked her? I mean, my. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. of course. I mean, sorry, I thought you were talking about Brad, but yeah, he's he's sent her solicitors' letters. Like he's trying to get a restraining order, and she's messaging all of my friends, my family, Brad's friends and family, Brad's mum. Oh, she's a proper nut job. Mate, she's crazy. She's absolutely. I honestly, I feel sorry for the girl because yeah, the one, the one boy she wanted, even even when I'm out of the picture, still, still doesn't want her, and that that is that's going to be blamed, enough to make she anyone. She probably blamed you for that as well, though. Well, I don't know why. Yeah, I, I literally think... said to her, "You are welcome to him. I'm go I'm I'm off. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I, mean, I am not going to be a problem for you and Brad uh, any longer. Um, but yeah, no, he 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 doesn't want her. So poor girl. Uh, yeah. Back, back to the drawing board for her. Yeah, but maybe just don't be a side chick. 
You know, like yeah. I have such strong feelings about this. On, like respect yourself enough to not be a side chick. Like yeah, be someone's it, everything. Yeah, but what happens if she if she what happens if Brad listen, I'm not trying to draw Brad out here yet. I oh, don't yeah. know him, I don't know who the guy is, but yeah, yeah. what if he's making her feel like she's the main chick? Because you don't know that. Well, he but might, she knew but, yeah, but she he knew might it. be saying to her, Babe, I'm getting rid of Bonnie, like, I'm getting rid of her, I wanna be with you, I'm getting rid of her, I wanna be with you. Like, you don't know. Listen, you can't knock the girl. He, you can't knock her. But for 11 years, though. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> 11 years how long like are you going to buy that story? Yeah, yeah. 11 years He's is like, a bit like, mad. come on. Yeah, 11 years is a bit long. It's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, and it, yeah. I, I mean, I, look, I, don't, I never saw any of the messages or anything. So you've never or, been the side chick? I have never in my life been a side chick. And never? Nev- are you sure? Never. 100%. Ne- one billion So what percent. makes you the main chick? I mean, to be honest with you, babe, like I've had serious relationships ever since I was 14. Really? You've never wanted to Sorry, 15. Never had that single life? No. Really? I've never had it and I don't want it. (laughs) Honestly. So I was with someone for eight years from 15 to 23. Wow. And then I was single for about six months to a year and I say, I say, I haven't had the single life. That that year was a busy year for me. I sowed lots of wild oats, and then I met Brad, and then I was with him for eleven years, eleven and a half years, and and then I've met, and I've literally just asked him to move in with me. But I just, I've never been. <laughs> hello, doggy. Oh um, I've never been the sort of girl who would ever want to tamper in any kind of. Like relationship, but you know what? People see you on social, yeah. And this is just me being an outsider, oh. judging you from what we see. Oh, I know. They probably look at you and think, "What a wrong un. She's so active, this I and know. that." But you're far from it. I'm. I. I mean, I'm no nun. Okay, think, yeah, no, I'm no. not a nun. But <laughs> I, think, I think the social and, media says that. And I've. And I. You know, I've. I've. I, in that year that I was single for, it was. It was pretty. You know, I was pretty active. But how active we talking? Um, I've slept with 31 people now in my whole life and I'm 35, but one I've minute, been in a... Minute, one I know, minute, one minute, one know, minute. Hold know, on, hold know, on, hold on. If I everyone know, watching, I did know. we just hear what happened there? Because I, I don't know if everyone calculated that real I know. quick. It was active. Look, so you've active. been in a relationship yeah. for all that time, apart uh, from one year, yeah. and you've been in three relationships and yeah. you slept with 31 people. You know, there's only 52 weeks in one year, yeah? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it was a busy year. It was busy, and also for my for my first in my busy is an understatement. I know in my first relationship though I wasn't a good girl either. Fair enough. So you know it got to I got to about eighteen, and all my mates were shagging everyone, and I and telling me how good these one night stands were, and I I had so much FOMO that I went out and I did and I did some pretty stupid things. Few one night stands. And yeah, and I and I that was that is one of the biggest regrets of my life doing that. because not because I regret I, okay, I want to be on. with Nathan, but because I I broke him as a human, and then I vowed to myself I would never ever ever cheat ever again. So no, I respect it because you know what? Sometimes you need to experience it. Look, we're not perfect. We're on this planet to live and learn. Well, you had a little bit of karma hit you back there, innit? This is exactly <laughs> what I said. Like, that's a little bit I of said, karma okay, if I'm you back there. Okay, I got my karma. All right. But now you're and one I, one, yeah? So now, now we're yeah. on a new slate. We're on a brand new slate now, yeah. Um, Bonnie, sorry to bring it up again, but 31 guys. What, do you so, think that's a lot? Well, if we remove the, the four relationships. Yeah. What's that, 29? No, 28? Three, 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 hold three, on, how many relationships? Nathan, Brad. Three relationships, yeah? Three. So we're down to 28 people. Yeah. In one year? Mm, no, because I because I did. I All right, was, so let's say I was, twenty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Each to their own. Uh, Come on, you shag more than people more more than that in one yeah, year. But I'm a man. I it's don't different. give a no, fuck. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. We can have this argument live on camera. I don't uh, care. It's different. I, I look. I get it. I haven't slept with more than twenty women. That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm I a one woman I, man. A I one, have to one say, woman man, yeah. I do think the fact that it's different for men and for women isn't fair, really. But I do know in this life there are things that you know. No, men shall do I tell with... you my opinion on it? Let me explain before Go you on. before you draw me Look, out. I'm yeah, not, I'm not like a feminist over here. No, no, but I'll I, tell you. But I, I believe a woman's body is more precious than a man. Yeah. This is me being honest. I'm not saying it to say what women want to hear, but a woman's, as disgusting as it sounds, has a hole. You go inside. Right. We are men. We have a stick. 
Yeah? It's... That woman is precious. She should not be sleeping with or transferring that much energy from different men. Whereas us men, we don't care. We can go and sleep with a hundred different women and we're not going to feel any type of way. Mm. Whereas with a woman, I think there's an emotional attachment to each person. Maybe one night stands a little bit different. Yeah. Or depends how good it is, but usually Mm. there's an emotional attachment. Yeah. Do you agree? Um, uh, Yeah. Yeah, it's, I it do. It's a little bit... Because there are men out there who can sleep with three women a day and genuinely not even know their name. I know. Like, actually not know their name. Yeah. But that's not me. Yeah, um, I, look, I understand it. I don't fully agree with it, but I understand your <laughs> point of view. Fair enough. Thanks for understanding my You're point. You're welcome, darling. So listen, you've had a very, very, very exciting life the last five years. Yeah. You went from being just a musical dance, theater, theater dancer. Theatre dancer, yeah. To now you're probably one of... The most mature and biggest OnlyFans girls in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't know about mature. I try. No, but you are. No, no. Listen, you're not. You're not a kid. No. Let's be honest. You're a grown no. woman. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not mature. <laughs> no, I. I think I've matured a lot over the last few months. Let me tell you. If we scrolled on your Instagram, maybe we're not we're, we're not that mature. But <laughs> you you hold yourself well. Thank you. You do. Yeah. You, you come across Thanks. as a classy woman. You're not. Well, you're a little bit crazy, but. Oh God, yeah, that, absolutely nuts, babe. But yeah, no, I, I, I like to. Why do you I class like yourself as nuts? So I've just been diagnosed with ADHD. Could have guessed. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm really? joking. I'm joking. I no, because no everyone no. says this. No, I think um, I've got ADHD. Have you? I think so. Do you know what? It's it's being banded about a lot now, isn't it? I think it's just something that you know a lot of people probably have. You know, I think it's just the amount of coffees and- I have. <laughs> really? Yeah, sweet. I think that's it. I think if I slow <laughs> See, down, I'll be I good. don't. I don't drink coffee or anything because i know it, it sends me so hyper but yeah I, i've just been diagnosed with that i've my 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 emotions are like this you you could probably say maybe you think i was bipolar but i don't think i am it's a common misdiagnosis with adhd and actually what what's happened to me is like I, ever since the trauma that I've gone through, um, all of my symptoms have been completely exacerbated, and everything I was like before, I'm na- it's like me on crack. Like it's actually mental. Well, you're more worse. I'm more worse. Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm more worse. So I'm more crazy. I'm more emotional. I'm more everything. I'm more OCD. Poor Johnny, man. I know. He's probably I'm... thinking, "Fuck's sake, why did I, I get involved with this one?" <laughs> I'm more overwhelmed. I'm more can't, you know, get get tasks done. So I basically, I got my, I got um, diagnosed and, you know, I take my medicine. I haven't taken any today because I actually did a podcast and I'd taken it. And what it makes me do is my brain thinks slower okay. and my ma- I'm a very quick talker. So my brain can't keep up with the words that I'm saying. <laughs> and I was getting like really confused and what the hell was going on. Yeah, yeah. So I actually said to myself, right, I can't take my medication when I do podcasts anymore. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, I'm on. I, I do take my medication now, and it really helps me feel like less overwhelmed. It evens out my emotions a bit. Do you think your craziness helps with making content? Uh, yeah, because your content isn't ordinary. No, like it is. What, what's the craziest content you created? Um, what, what's what's some oh, of your what's some okay. of your viral clips? I mean, this isn't a viral clip, but I'll oh, tell you about God. it. So, um, so the other night, um, Johnny took me out for a surprise date, yeah. and he took me to Bingo, mm-hmm. and it was sick. Yeah, I mean, it was it was shit. It's all it's all digital now. It's none of the like the really? stuff. It's all on an iPad. So it all does it for you. So when you get Bingo, do you still shout Bingo? Yes, you do. Okay. But other than that, you're not allowed to speak. Fuck. I know, we're not even allowed to whisper. We got kicked out the out the hall, and then we nearly got kicked out the bar. I was like, <laughs> "Fuck!" Right, but anyway, that that I digress. So anyway, after that, you know, we'd had a few drinks or whatever. We go to yeah. in Crawley, and then we ended up we ended up fucking him. You fucked in the store. Yeah. Where? Like, have you been to Crawley one? No, I haven't. But so, like- so it's I mean, it's huge, and there was I mean, it was like there was no one in there. The guy was cooking the pizza, and we was just like right in the window. What? Like not even in the toilet? You done it raw, rago in the restaurant? We, we rago in the window, and we've got a video of it. We videoed the whole thing. Listen, I've got to respect it, you know. I've got to, like, listen, respect to you, but... But I love that shit. How did you film that? Um, oh, I was just... I was sat on him like that, and he was just fucking me like that. Like, POV. Oh, you're a gangster. 
I, my, I love public <laughs> shit. Like, absolutely love it. Like, um, where where else did we do it? Oh, we we. Where's oh, the most crazy place you've ever had sex? Um, probably there. That would probably yeah, be my is, crazy that place. That is a bit mad. Yeah, I mean, is that the most public place? And did, did the guy not look at you? What was you wearing? <laughs> so many questions. I was actually wearing jeans. Like a skirt. Fair it enough. wasn't even a skirt. Really? I literally had to like pull my jeans down. Yeah, the video's sick as well. Yeah, it's really good. But yeah, I I, <laughs> I like sick as well. <laughs> I like being crazy though. Like those things. That life's about living. And no, listen, I do hear it. Yeah, and oh. I tell you another one as well. So yeah, we was in Ibiza, and I was like, Johnny, um, take trousers down and get your get your camera out. We're in the middle of the street, and there's it's so busy. Like it was literally outside Jet Apartments. One minute, you, hold on. You've just told him, pull down your trousers, get your camera out, raw in the street. Yeah, and I just started taking him off. <laughs> what? You, <laughs> oh, that Bonnie. honestly. You know what, Bonnie? You know that mature part I said. Oh, I, I know. know. I take all that shit oh, back. Oh, I know. You're fucking nuts. Oh, I know. Yeah, I don't. No more. No more mature. You're do lally, <laughs> mate. Yeah, I sat here. Oh yeah, but, so but mature. You know, She's such a fuck that shit. You're crazy. But do you know what's amazing? Is so is he. Yeah, but you lot are like. One minute, did people not look and be like, yo, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I don't know, babe. We what were, you, you were just busy, innit? I was, yeah, <laughs> were, babe, we were both were, busy and we were focusing. in it. Like, and it, yeah, in the it was, middle of the street. Yeah, we got the busy? video and everything. Yes, babe, it was the middle of the day, outside Jet Apartments. Like, But it was just fun, innit? Like, I, I just... Have you ever been arrested for something like that? No, okay, surprisingly. Fair. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> but yeah, I... I my... Imagine Bonnie Lockett in prison. What do you do? Suck my boyfriend off in public. <laughs> <laughs> I love a public place. And so that's how I get my kicks, you know? I, I like to... That, I just find it so fun. Like we went, we we played pool the other day, and um, like went and just like fucked in the toilets. Do you know what I mean? It was no, the listen, loudest got... fuck ever because we was in the toilets and my head was banging on the on the side, and his ass was banging on the door. Maybe it was that's like, why you couldn't doo -doo. focus on the podcast. Maybe I had a bit of fucking head damage. <laughs> <laughs> he literally put his arm there so I could like bang my bang my head on his arm. But yeah. So yeah, this is the guy that you told your fiance not to worry about, yeah. Yeah, now he's fucking me all over the world. <laughs> Literally, now he's fucking me all over the world. But you've got to be yeah. careful though, you know. Oh, I know. Like, genuinely. But that makes it more fun. Yeah, but like, like I, I understand that, yeah? I can't speak too much on camera, but I understand it. But like, it's a bit techy. Like, it's a bit... It like, is, it's a but bit mad. To this day, I've never been caught. But that's what makes it exciting. When and you get caught, it's it like a failure, isn't it? It's a fuck. We got yeah. caught this time. Shit. Yeah, no, I've never. We got to, I've never we got to try again next time and not get caught. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's good fun. So you and him are obviously having plenty of fun. Yeah. And yeah. Listen, it's good. I respect it. But how did you get him involved? What Johnny? Yeah. Um. He he just well I don't know we we just he knows what I do obviously of course um and you know I had content of me and my ex and I was like. I need a new partner. Yeah. You up for it? And he's like, "Fuck yeah!" So he was so so up for it. Like he's up for doing the TikToks with me. He's up for, you know, doing all the filming. He's always getting his camera out. Like he, it's sick. Listen, it's I so guess, sick. I guess you know what? It's a blessing in disguise. What happened? Yeah. Not even to touch on. I don't want to keep going back to your breakup and stuff. But yeah, it's a blessing in disguise, really. Babe, it's like, the best thing that ever happened to me. I was gonna say sometimes. Your worst nightmare turns out to be your best dream. Honestly, like I, like I, I love him so much, and I've never ever had so much fun with a person or been so addicted to a person. And that's how it was. I mean, it's how it was before I got married, but I wouldn't allow myself to to even get, like think about that. Do you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And then and then you know it just got too much, and I was like, I can't actually see you anymore because I'm falling in love with you. Well, like obviously, OnlyFans is paying well. Yeah, not pulled, as well as it used to, but yeah. Pulled up in a beautiful G wagon. <laughs> yeah, Starlet got, Roof. Did you see Star? Yeah, I saw. I yeah, saw it. No, do you know where I saw it? I um, saw it in your the picture. Yeah. When you said yeah, on the yeah, way to yeah. boutique show. Yeah. And you got an amazing SVJ sitting at home. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Twin turbos and. Why yeah. did you do that? Um. For all the car enthusiasts, like I, I did it because no one had done it before. Yeah, but no, no disrespect. Can you even drive the car how it's meant to be driven? I can drive it. Um, and I can drive the car like it's yeah. meant to be driven. You, you yeah, I'll take driver. it on the track. I love driving. Okay. I absolutely love driving. Um, pink slips. Sorry? Pink slips. Race for pink slips. What's that? It's where you race for the car. 
Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I haven't actually raced it at all. But do you drive it much? To be fair, in this weather, you can't drive I, shit. Babe, you can't, like, it's meant for a track. It, it really is meant for a track, especially now it's been twin turbo, but it's actually not very comfortable. Yeah. No, they're lumps of And shit. so, like, I love driving it, and I've driven it, you know, I've driven it here, there, and everywhere, but I actually ended up getting a trailer to trailer it around the country <laughs> because it's just not comfortable. You're putting my, you're putting so many miles on a car that's so expensive, and... Yeah, what I'm, made you want a Lamborghini SVJ? I mean, they're sick. Yeah, but... Do you know SV, what I mean? like, not SVJ. Oh, SV, yeah. sorry. But no, 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 most okay. women want like a nice G-Wagon. Like every girl who I speak to, what's dream like? G-Wagon, G-Wagon, G-Wagon. Well, not, I got both. Not, I want a Lamborghini <laughs> SVJ. I'm like, I'll be like, if, if I phone up a girl, yo, babe, what's going on? What's your favourite car? She's like, a Lamborghini SVJ. I'm like... Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Say that again? Yeah, no, I just love them. I, I just, I've always wanted... I've always wanted a Lambo with the doors. Yeah, that's, that's what a Lambo is, isn't it? Yeah. But now I've had one. I feel like I've been there, done that, got the T-shirt now. I'm happy with my G-Wagon. So, yeah, probably will. Probably and when you was younger, what was, what was your dreams as a kid? My dreams? Yeah, like what did you want to be when you were younger? I wanted younger? to be a famous pop star. I think you've done that. Uh, I wouldn't say I was a <laughs> pop star, but <laughs> or even that famous, really. But, yeah, no, I wanted to be the next Britney Spears. That was what I wanted to be. Then, but then I, I always wanted to have a Lamborghini. I told my whole family, if I'm ever wealthy enough, I'll buy you all Lamborghinis. Said the same thing. Um, but I didn't know who bought myself one. Um, <laughs> and, and yeah, that was it really. I just wanted to be rich and famous. That was all I wanted to be as a kid. But I wanted like the, the like Britney Spears, Michael Jackson fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I wanted. You wanted to be a superstar. I wanted to be a superstar. But actually, um, my obviously my dreams my dreams have completely completely changed especially in the last four months as well um you know money i was brought up in a very materialistic household where you know money was everything family had money my dad did yeah not 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 growing up he didn't have anything but he built a multi-million pound business from the ground and he's what done does he do very well for himself <clears throat> Excuse me. He runs a construction company. Okay. And yeah, he's he's a great businessman and I have full, full respect for my dad. Um, how, and did, how did he take it? How did your mum and dad take it when you started OnlyFans? My my mum fully supportive. My dad fully supportive. Really? I mean, yeah. Because usually it's the dad. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? So I bought a Lambo, Gallardo, yeah. And he was like, Bonnie, where are you getting this money from? But they never knew. He didn't know. I hadn't told him. And then this is before OnlyFans. This is when I was just doing webcam. And he was like, what are you doing? And he said, and he asked me if I was a prostitute. Is that what he asked? <laughs> and I said, no, dad, I'm not a prostitute. I said, look, and this is how I explained it to him. I said, it's like babe station, but on a personal level, as in on di like digital level, yeah. one to one. And he didn't really understand it. And he didn't really want to. And then obviously I started doing OnlyFans and I said, you know, I'm not doing the one to one the stuff anymore. But it's now I'm doing it's one now, to hundreds of thousands. It's now it's now more of a public thing. And so I will be posting on my socials and stuff. So dad don't follow me on my socials or anything like that. And um probably got you blocked. Huh? <laughs> probably. <laughs> and um and he just said, Look, I don't like what you do. I don't like how you earn your money, but I'm happy you're earning it. Yeah. So Isn't it's good sometimes. Sometimes they, don't, they haven't got to like it. No, yeah? I mean, but as long as they support you and they've not like told you to fuck off. No, I, no way. There's so many girls that I've interviewed. A few OnlyFans girls, and the second the family finds out, some of them haven't spoken to them. Yeah. And at the end of the day, do you know what it is? OnlyFans is becoming so normalised. Yeah. Within the next ten years, I don't think. But do you know what upsets me? What? This is my battle on OnlyFans. Yeah. Yeah. For a man to make the same money a woman makes on OnlyFans, he's got to be doing illegal activity. Mm. Has to be. He's mm -hmm. got to be a drug dealer, a fraud star. Uh, it's true. He's got to be doing something. It's true. Where's the where where do men what do men do now? Because for a man to keep up with your with your lifestyle, I know. Like me as a man, yeah, I know. I'm an alpha. My girl can't make more money than me. She mm. can't. I, I don't care. Even if it means I have got to go and rob banks, I'll do it to show <laughs> I'm but the man. What if you fell in love with someone, yeah, and you didn't know the amount of money they earned? But there's and and then and then you but you're in love. Yeah, Just I'm let me paint you a little picture. Paint the picture. You're in love, and you find out that you know she makes more money than you. What do you do then? Okay, so I think it's very look. I like having these kind of conversations oh, with so people do I. Yeah, because I, I love, love it. it. But it depends how she, how because a man, a woman can be completely worth millions, but she can still make the man feel like a man. Yes. Yeah. It it is very. 
don't try and take my manlyhood away from me. Yeah. I'm still the man. You yeah. might have more money than me. You might. Good luck to you. But yeah. don't try and be the man of our relationship. 100%. I'm going to order the food. I'm going to do this. I'm paying the bill. Whether I can afford it or not, yeah. we can deal with that after. But let me be my man. Yeah. Don't like Christmas and stuff. When it's us alone, you want to buy me gifts and shit. Like, I've never been into it, but do that in your own time. But when we're out in public, I'm the man. Yeah. Don't take my manlyhood away from me. Yeah. And I think... I hear you. That's and I respect I, it. That's how I've always been though. Like mm-hmm. I've dated girls who have been doing really well for themselves. I love it. I want my girl to be doing well. Yeah. But just not better than me. Yeah. But not in a disrespectful way. Yeah. I mean, I, I understand it. I hear you. I think it's very... But like you say, it's very, very difficult because girls that are earning well on OnlyFans, you know... They're smashing it. But they I are. like... I want a man. No, do you know what I mean? Do, but... and, just, and just because, you know... The, say, say your partner doesn't earn as much as you it it doesn't have to th- that dynamic doesn't have to change well, of course not but it's how you but this is the, yes it's how it's how the woman behaves yeah. but actually I, I look back and I realise that I I completely like demasculated my ex yeah but that, that I, I'd and I but I didn't even but know I was doing it you get I had wealthy... no a- awareness yeah but did you get wealthy while you was with him yes that's the difference whereas now you've got with Johnny yeah you was already wealthy yeah so now you've got with him the money isn't an excitement spending time with him is exciting yeah that's the difference whereas when you got that blast of money I know was I was like, addicted babe yeah, I life. was so addicted all I cared about was earning money like I was so so addicted to that what's I was the so best addicted... month you ever had on OnlyFans um 250 grand. Raw. Yeah, I know. It's mental. It's actually Raw. mental. But that was when I did the Sidemen video, the Guest a Millionaire video, and it went nuts. 250 bags in a month. Yeah. Yeah. And, did and you people, change as a person? Did I see trolls like, oh, that's a lie, that's a lie. I kid you not. Well, listen, you got the. You got the it's not a lie. I, well, well, I've got. I've got no, but not even that, but like, you, you ain't driving a three hundred thousand pound Lamborghini, one hundred fifty grand G wagon. Where's the money come from? You've yeah, made I mean, it. I've 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 made about five million on OnlyFans, and I've got fuck all to show for it. Really, <laughs> I've wasted so much money, babe. Well, you're not good at saving. What uh, about investing? Well, Do you not invest? So I have invested in one that thing. It's going to go viral. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I am um, so basically I I had really really bad tax advice. I paid 400 grand in tax this year. I know I I wasn't I wasn't a limited company sorry I was on my nose. Yeah, I am um, a accountant. Sorry. Do you want an accountant? No, I've me? I've got an accountant now, but yeah, I I've paid 400 grand in tax this year. I had really really bad tax advice. I wasn't a limited company. Um I my accountant was terrible. I was I went between 3 and I and yeah, I do you know what it is as well? I think I most accountants nowadays, most accountants nowadays, because OnlyFans is so new, I know it's not new, it's been around yeah. for years, but it's like YouTube as well. Whenever I, there was an accountant up here, I went to him and I was like, yo, I need some help. Like, yeah. And he was like, what did you do? I was like, YouTube. He was like, how'd you make your money? YouTube. What, what yeah, do you mean? Like, I YouTube. know. They don't get my, it. My mum phoned me up the day. Let me tell you a quick story, yeah? I know you're my guest, but you've got to listen to me. <laughs> mum phone, phones me up the other day. She's like, can you come around? I was like, yeah. Cause, so my dad's very successful. He's got restaurants, he's done his own thing. And I come and done my podcast. I was just focusing on this. I left him to it. Mum phones me up. She's like, can you come around the house? I was like, yeah, right. what's up, mum? I'm thinking like, are you ill? What's happened? Yeah. Uh, what do you want? She's like, have you got money? I was like, yeah, why? Like, what? She was like, come on, I know you're not making money from YouTube. And I was like, oh, like, I'm, I'm making good money. Like, yeah, <laughs> do you know what yeah. I mean? I'm doing well. And she was like to me, Listen, if you need anything, just let me. I was like, Mum, like, I've never been one to talk about money. It's never been mm. me because, like, touch wood, I've been brought up with it. My dad's always been successful. I've never yeah. struggled. I yeah. haven't. I can't yeah. sit here and say I lived uh, from the hood, da da da. But, and, like, but to the older generation, what do you do? I make videos. They're like, yeah, fuck off. Like, you don't make I money know. doing that. But so, accountants, when you go to an old accountancy firm, they laugh at you. I know. They're like, what are you talking about? You make money from YouTube. I know. But for you, you're, it's not even like you're making like 100 grand. I'm making, I make uh, millions from online. They're like, huh? <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually nuts. And the, the, the accountants that I was with, they just didn't understand it. And, and everything grew so quickly. Yeah. And I wasn't in a limited company. And so it was just personal. I was just, oh, shit. it was personal. And so, I, I, yeah, I had to pay 400 grand in tax personally. Um, 
and that was really really tough and there was no way out of it yeah so i just had to kiss that money goodbye but on the plus side i have invested into a farm oh yeah not a working farm so there's no like cow sheep whatever it's just a farm uh, there's a farmhouse it's got a load of outbuildings and there was five stages of planning to go through basically to try and convert all of these barns into seven houses so uh, at the moment we're at the stage four it's it's um it's been it's converted into eight it's the plan we've got the planning for eight flats Sick. um and now we're just putting the app in for the seven houses and once that is in once that's been approved i'm sorted would you pay for the farm two and a half mil big money yeah two and a half mil but um and i've I've obviously paid my deposit. I haven't completed yet. Complete the end of January. And once that goes through, I'm going to do sub sales. I'm, I'm praying, hoping that the the planning has come through. We've got a load of developers so you're in make place. A, you're going to make a lot more than two and a half million quid from that. Yeah. So I'm hoping, hoping to profit about 1.5 mil from this farm. And I've been working on it for just over a year. Do you enjoy doing stuff like that? Well, I'm actually not doing it. <laughs> okay, no problem. Who I is? met someone who I was going to buy some land off and I've gone into, well, not even a partnership really. I, he's helped me do do everything and he's, he's, he's guided me. Through, he's done all of the planning stuff and everything, but he's guided me through. He saw me going down the wrong path because I just wanted to buy a big house and get a big mortgage. Yeah. But he's like... But what are you going to do when you stop doing OnlyFans and, you know, you want to have kids or you have kids and you don't want to continue or, you know, or OnlyFans stops, you know, yeah. what are you going to do? And I'm like, well, I don't know. I'm just what, living my life now. What, what are you talking what about, What do you mate? do? <laughs> and, and he's like, look, this is the way you want to do it anyway. So we built this friendship probably for, for like over a year. And then this farm came on the market it was, he doesn't buy unconditional. And he was like, look, if you want to go for it, I'm not going for it. This is a bloody good one. It is unconditional. So there's a risk. But if you want to take a risk, I fucking love a risk. So I did. And I went for it. So end of Jan, we'll see where I'm oh, at. Do you not get worried about when OnlyFans ends? OnlyFans ends. or Do you want to get worried about what, sorry? When OnlyFans ends. Or when you get to a certain age where... I did. Because I it did. must be in the back of your head at some point. Of course. I'm 30, I'm nearly and 36. If you're not saving money, clearly you're not, you said. <laughs> five no. million quid gone down the drain. Right, let me let me tell you. Right, so five mil gross. I don't know what that, 20% off that, what's that? Five million, it's million quid. Right, so yeah, okay. Right. So four. Right, I spent 360 grand on my wedding. I spent, Hold on, pause. Yeah. 360,000 pound on a wedding. Yeah, 300 grand on the wedding, 60 grand on the honeymoons. Oh, where's my invite? I know. It Next. was sick. Yeah. It was the sickest wedding, babe. <laughs> it was in Lake Como. I looked amazing. I spent 50 grand on flowers. You spent 50,000. My dad spent like 15 grand on flowers. I thought babe, was I'm a twat. Okay. I'm an absolute twat. I, I wanted this dream wedding and it was. It was a dream wedding. But I it, it just sadly, it was to the wrong person. And, and, I, and I know. Would like, you ever get married again? Yes. You, I best have my invite, yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would get married, and but it would be so different now. It would be, I I wouldn't want to spend hardly any money on it. You just want I to actually, be an actual love wedding kind of I, thing. Yeah, just completely and utterly about friends, family, and me and Johnny. That's what I want, and yeah, I this, this honestly, babe, the last four months. With going through everything I've been through, it's taught me so many lessons, and it's it's made me such a better person. Like it's not about money, it's not about materialistic things. It's about love. It's about happiness. It's about laughter, and I have so much of that in my life now. I'm I'm bursting with it. But what happens after OnlyFans? Because that what happens without after the money, OnlyFans? without the money. Because realistically, yeah, you can only sit there and say it's about love, happiness, and laughter. Yeah, when you don't have money, yeah, then then it changes. Yeah, yeah. Then it's about more. Oh. Like, I need that money. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Well, I don't know that much, but I I I don't I don't want to be in a position where I do find out. <laughs> you know what I mean? So so because I've got this farm going, this is my exit plan. Um, yeah, but, but a, mil, a mil and a half. Yeah, that's yeah. what you said. You're a profit. Yes. So then after that, next one. Yes, but I'm not going to start doing farms. I'm going to, I'm just going to start 
doing land and then getting planning on land. We've I've I've got some contacts now with with um, with my man and uh, and yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So it's not I want to pay off my mortgage. Yep. Um, and I want to invest maybe two two hundred two hundred two hundred grand on a few pieces of land. Get the planning that I need to turn that into. Yeah, lot, yeah, lots more basically, and uh, yeah, that's that's the plan for me. So it's not like I'm going. Oh, OnlyFans is done. Oh, I'm just gonna like. When's your? Not when's do your anything. Have you got a a year or age in place where you want to stop OnlyFans? This is really tricky because I I have in my head that I do want to get married again, and I do want to have children. Yeah, and I do want to have children after I'm married. So in my head, I've said, okay, maybe next Does Johnny year. Does have any kids? No. Both of you no kids? Both of us no okay. kids, yeah. And it's really lovely because we've actually, we've, we want them together. Like I want my kids yeah, yeah. to have Johnny in them, 1 billion percent. <laughs> and he feels the same about me, you know, and it's, and which is really nice. And, and at this age, you can't fuck about. Like we, we don't really have time to fuck about. Listen, you're not young. You may act it, you may look it, but you're not young and my body clock is ticking and that is a worry for me because i don't want to get to you know 40 and go oh yeah let's start having kids i can't have them or you know there's a there's an issue so it means we're, you know we're, i'm 41 i'm 42 i don't know what that's going to look like so for me i've said hopefully next year get engaged yeah um either make sure you're listening to this i'll take it oh he knows <laughs> he knows um so either end like, you know next year well it probably won't be able to get married next year but, you know, the year after, so I'll be 30, early, early next year, uh, and then the year after I'll be 37. TikTok, TikTok. <laughs> I need to start banging out some kids, babe. And and I don't know how I'm going to feel when I'm pregnant. And after the first kid as well. After the first oh, kid. Are you going to want another kid? How long is it going to take you to recover till you well, can have the other kid? I know, because I want two. And ideally, I want one of each. So, uh, you know, if I don't have one of each, well, I want another and so I really don't want to cut my time short because I'm already cutting it fine now, <laughs> let alone having to meet someone else, get married again, you know. Yeah, you can't. I also want real stuff this time. I don't want a, sc a scam relationship. I don't want a scam wedding. Um, and yeah, I don't know if I'll continue doing OnlyFans when I'm pregnant. Probably will. That's you know, a bit mad. Probably will. Yeah, but they, some people have that kind of... They, they want that. I mean, that's what I mean. What's one of the weirdest things you've been asked on OnlyFans? Um, or what, what's one of the weirdest, like, what are they, personal messages or requests? Requests you've ever done on OnlyFans? Um, to shit in a bucket. Did you do it? No. Okay, good girl. No, we didn't, but I wanted to. I wanted to because it was grand. Um, but the, the guy pissed me off because <laughs> well, I didn't end up doing it because we had a dispute over who was going to pay for the bucket. I'm not joking. Take the fucking piss out of me. <laughs> I know because I can be quite stubborn really like right well fuck it if you don't want to if you don't pay for the bucket the postage then I'm not shitting in it and that's that but I didn't really want to do it anyway do you know what I mean I didn't really want to do it because obviously women don't shit so how are you going to shit I think you know from my latest TikToks that I do oh. <laughs> so I live in a fairy tale land where women yeah. don't shit oh well we do so just let me live in that land alright <laughs> Just let me live there because, like, I, that's where I'm living at the That's the kind of wavelength we I'm fart, on. We fart, we shit, we do no, all you of don't. that stuff. You don't. Yes, Women we do. don't do that, Bonnie. They don't do we it. We do, but meet the right one and you'll, you'll, no, 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 you'll never. like it. I swear, <laughs> hand on my heart. Sh no way on this planet. What, like, you, you fart in bed with your partner? Yeah, all the time. You being serious? Yeah. Yeah, no yeah, chance. Yeah. No, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Do you fart in front of your missus, though? I do what I want. Well, then you. If my you, girl farted, you. I swear, if I farted and she farted back at me, oh my god, that's it. Relationships over. Get my house. No, I, stop. I swear to you, hand on my heart, it's done. No, stop. Well, it. you turn around to your partner and say, "Babe, I'm going to have a shit." Yeah. Yo, for all the men who are Absolutely. listening. Absolutely. Yeah? Do you agree with me or do you agree with Bonnie? Yeah, I want to know because... Because genuinely, I, I don't fuck with women shitting. I don't do it. <laughs> like, I know the tricks women do, yeah? They go in, turn the shower on, go and have a shower, go toilet, flush the toilet, get in the shower, have your shower, then come out. I know it. Yeah. That's how See, I, I want... used to do that. When I first started seeing Johnny, um, I was doing that probably for about two months. And then I'm like, look. I need to shit. I need to shit and I need to fart. Do you know what I mean? No, the farting one is a bit mad. Like, the shitting one, like, I get, like, you might need, you're going to shit yourself. But 
But I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't do it. I swear to you, I couldn't do That's it. That's funny, isn't it? I, I just, I think it's, I think everyone has their different things, but. Being told, do you think it would put you off them like yeah, sexually? Yeah. Really? Well, I, uh, so can I tell you something? Yeah. Right. <laughs> every time you say that, every time you've said to me, I've got something to tell you. It's a mad I've, story. Yeah, this is quite mad actually. You shit on someone. No, I haven't shit on someone, but have I've I've done I was I've done farting videos because that's what people ask me for all the time. So I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to make an album of farting videos, right? <laughs> and um and they're like really up close ones. And then I was showing. I was like, Johnny, look what I filmed today. I like <laughs> he fucking Mate. he loves it. I don't know he's what's wrong with He's just as him. nuts as you. I know, he's mental. He's not into farting, but it's just like, it's my bum hole, I suppose, <laughs> he likes. Oh, mate. <laughs> well, listen, listen, listen. If that's what he's into, do you know what I mean? I ain't going to judge him. But... No, do you know what? He just, I think he just, yeah, I don't know, just likes my, my But that's bum. what happens when you're obsessed with each other. You like anything. That's it, Like, though. literally. It's like full-blown obsession. Yeah, it's, and he could fucking shit on you. You'd be like, all right, great, wicked. I don't, I mean, I think... How long ago was it? It wasn't long that we were seeing each other. Oh, no, because no, we just started doing stuff. Um, I would say it was about th two months ago. Mm -hmm. And he was like, we. I was pissing his mouth. He was pissing in my mouth. Like. That was the most disgusting drink of water I've ever drunk in my life. <laughs> On yeah, camera. Be yes, because people like this stuff. Do and you I like that? But actually, nobody had asked us for it. <laughs> we just did it. And we just filmed it because it was funny. So you just give each other golden showers, like, you know. One one time we did, yeah. Genuine question, do you enjoy that? I mean, it's not something I would crave, but it was it was fun. But that's more the domination side of it, isn't it? They like, like women enjoy the being dominated. Having uh, I love body. it, yeah. I love being dominated. That is like my thing. I'm very, very, like, people think that I'm going to be this, like, really, like, overly sexually person in the bedroom. And I, I'm not really... Been a princess, yeah? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but, like, I'm, I'm not really. Like, yeah, I love going on top, but it's, it's, it's more that I'm being dominated on top. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I like being told what to do in the all in the bedroom out out you know real life don't talk to me <laughs> real yeah real life don't fucking tell what to do but in the bedroom i'm i'm ve i'm quite submissive and yeah i get yeah i don't know just i am now listen I, I i get it because i think that's how women should be yeah like in my eyes i don't i think that like having a like dominant woman i don't know I, but i think that depends on the man as well some men love it mm. Some men yeah. love it. They yeah, love yeah. being dominated. Oh, like, 100%. There's so many like dominatrix out there. Men yeah. love it. But for me, I've just never been. If a woman tells me what to do in the bedroom, I'm like, the fuck? What's going on? Yeah, Am I the no, man? Are you I, the man here? I need my man to be a man so and be. throw me around and tell me what to do. And yeah. And how do your OnlyFans, OnlyFans fans react to you having a partner? When you were single, did you do, like, as in when you split up with Brad? Brad. Yeah. Did you go on there and say you're single? No. Well, I mean, I was single for three days. <laughs> you know what I mean? You moved on after three days. It was three days. I, well, it, I wasn't like I in a relationship. I asked that question earlier. You avoided that question. I clocked yeah, that. Yeah, I wasn't away. in a relationship. But yeah, I mean, hell yeah. I was heartbroken. It was three days and I, I, I was drunk with my mate who'd come to see me, obviously. And, um, and I said, I rang up um, Johnny and I said, are you still single? And he was like, yeah. And uh, and that and that was it. Then I I I went and met up with him that night. Um, do you know what it was? Yeah, because it was it was within the three weeks. So I was trying to 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 be okay with Brad. Um, and it actually, no, I, that was right at the beginning when it when it all. How long it, after you spoke up and split up with Brad? Did you sleep with Johnny? Five days. Five so days. he was eager. He was like, yo, I want to see what this man's To got. be honest with you, babe, right? It had been three weeks of absolute hell of all the truth coming out about Brad. I was trying, I was trying. It wasn't working. I was having panic attacks when I'd be in the pub. It was fucking horrific. Like, I had people asking me for pictures. Oh, are you, uh, like, are you single or whatever? Yeah. And I'd be like, no, I'm married. And then I would break down. I had like a full blown panic attack in this, in this, um, in this pub. You know, as much as we sit here and we it's laugh awful. about it now, it must have been hard for you. 
It's the hardest thing I've ever done. And actually, if it wasn't for Johnny, I wouldn't be here, I swear to God. I wanted to, I wanted to end my life. Like, I really, really did. And he, he saved me. He did. And if it, honestly, I, I really mean that as well. It was really, really, really hard. Blessing in disguise, isn't it? But it was a blessing in disguise, disguise because actually, I, I, I really did try to change so much about my ex-partner. And I look back and I think, God, like, that must have been so hard to, to deal with somebody who's constantly trying to change you. So I'm not excusing the cheating, yeah, but I am taking accountability for not being respectful. You know, I did that yeah. collab with HS, which yeah, that was, was disrespectful. Bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. We didn't even touch on it. Yeah, now let's which, touch yeah, on it. Yeah, we absolutely can. What the fuck happened? So nothing. I mean, we literally just, I mean, I had a photographer there, a videographer there. We've got all these neon lights and, you know, we're shooting content together. And yeah, we, we made it look to the public like we were fucking, yeah, we did. And nothing was, happened. Nothing. No, nothing happened. Babe, no, nothing. I swear on everything. My little dogs, my family, ev- <laughs> literally. Keep the dogs out of it, man. What no, are you and they're the, the loves for? of my lives. Nothing, nothing happened. One, he's not my type. Two, he's too young. And three... His his personality is not for me. I like humble men. Well, what's wrong with HS? Uh, he's a wee baby. He's, you know he's arrogant. I, I don't know. Listen, I'm not involved. <laughs> so the whole thing with me in the hot tub, but you know, I actually hello. That. I've got a master's in acting. I'm a very very good actress, and yeah, no, nothing nothing happened with him. But we we made it out to the public like something did happen. I have also come out publicly and said that is a huge mistake of mine, a, a huge regret. I you shouldn't don't have speak done to that. HS no more, do you? Yeah, we're all right. Oh, you are, yeah. Yeah, yeah I we're cool. I saw a clip that said you and him didn't get on. No, we, we we had a fallout, but then we're but we're fine. We don't like talk every day or anything, but we're yeah. we're definitely on good terms. Um, but I, but that was wrong. I shouldn't have done that. Did he know you was doing it? Yeah, but I don't think he knew, and I didn't. I also didn't know, um, how. Uh, how serious pu- the public would take it because I just thought like I collabed with Simon I collabed with um, uh, Brady uh, what's his name the, the food guy I've collabed with loads of different guys and no one has ever thought anything more of it but obviously we did have a we did have that picture that he posted on Instagram but I just I just think well it's content it's, it's content how can you not see that how can you not see through that and um but they but you didn't. Know what because and obviously hs is known for moving to girls doing his thing you're mm. known for being a bit of a freak like a bit naughty on insta a bit like here yeah. there, a bit out there yeah both of you put together what's gonna happen they're gonna shag do you know what i mean that's what I know, that's I how know. i really really didn't think that people would actually actually believe it I, and I maybe I was very naive there. Just a tad. Obviously, <laughs> but Brad did also didn't think that people would believe it either. So did he, he get was, pissed off at that. He, yes, he was very upset. Um, and I do, yeah, it, it, he was not happy with it at all. The thing is, like, I hadn't told him that I was going to do a shoot with him on the car and HS would be grab my ass. I hadn't, I hadn't expressed yeah, that to did him. Did you even know that was going to happen? I or didn't was know. That, it was, that just... No, it, the, the photographer was there and I was like, oh my God, do you know what go well viral is if I do this? That's how it went down. And, and actually, so I used to pose in the sun uh, you know, dear Deirdre in the sun, yeah, yeah. where you know the you know the guys that we you'd act out a whole scene, and I'd be in the bath, you know, with with man on top of me and stuff. So I've done this stuff before. I've done collabs like this before. So in my head, I completely thought that that oh, was okay. It it's work. work. Well. It's it's content, and then and and he was not happy with it, and it really upset him. And obviously, and I look back and I think, well, that's that's that was hugely disrespectful. I did it for the money. Good pay. Well, blew up your, I made, blew yeah. up your OnlyFans, no? Yeah, I made really good money from it. Um, but life is more than money. Yeah. And I but really you know, when you're see stuck this in, now. When you're stuck in that in that bubble. Yeah, trying to be relevant. Yeah, it's Try, very hard know, to and when you're when your subs drop, you're like OnlyFans subs drop, you're like, oh, I got I gotta top it. Gotta got do got, something. Yeah, what I've can got, I do? Yeah. And you feel like a failure and everything else goes out the window and all you give a shit about is is being on top, being on the top of your game. And that's all I cared about, and and I and I wish I hadn't have felt that way. I wish I had have just taken a step back and considered somebody else's feelings other than my own. And that's but something it's, it's, that I didn't do. It is hard when you're in that. That's what I mean. Like, like as much as you yeah. probably do, look, but listen, you have to do it to look back on it. 
Yeah. You, you can't, you wouldn't have known unless you'd done it. I've learned. I've really, we, truly, we hope. I've truly <laughs> learned my lesson. You've got all the young ones out there like, don't learn, don't learn. Keep doing it, keep doing it, buddy, <laughs> no, keep doing I, it. No, I know. I've, I've truly learned my lesson and, and yeah, I, I have so much respect for my new relationship and I would never move that way again. Do you get bored easy? Um, I, I did when I was younger, but I didn't get bored with, well, I will never get bored with Johnny, let me put it that way. Yeah, I can't lie, you look, uh, like, from some of the stories you've told us on here, you look a bit nuts. I'm not getting What's bored of What's one of your fantasies? Him? My fantasy? Um... Johnny sitting there like, go on babe, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I do quite like the whole schoolgirl vibe. Really? But as in, what's your fantasy in the sense as public sex? You've done that. Like, how? Where's the one place you'd want to have sex? Um, I mean, kind of done it everywhere. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not joking. I'm not actually joking. Well, the f- I know. Is a bit I, bad. The fantasy for me. Um, I, I, I don't really care really, as long as it's like public somewhere. You just like the thought of. Maybe getting caught. Maybe getting caught. And people but, seeing you. But also, like, the fun of it just being... It's not even the getting caught, really. It's the just its just being sneaky with each other. Like, oh, yeah, let's quickly just go in here. Like, oh, let's fuck here. Like, it's like you're back in school. Yeah, that's how it feels. That's how it feels. And I've never had this with anyone before where they've been so, so on my level. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, clinically and, insane, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just really fun. But listen, I think we've covered everything. Is there anything else we need to cover? Um, I don't think so. We've done only. We've done only. We've done my past. We've done only fans in the farm. We've done Johnny. We've done Brad. Um, I yeah, I think that's pretty much my life. Yeah, your <laughs> yeah, life in a so. nutshell. What to finish it? Talk to us about the end of twenty twenty three. How are you finishing it? Anything exciting going on? Yes. So I'm going to Lanzotti. Nice. With, with Johnny. Um, we're going to do a load of content over there for our page. Is Lanzarote hot now? Uh, yeah, it is quite hot. It's like 26 at the moment, cool. 24. I don't know how how hot it's going to be in um, in December, but hopefully, you know, still in the 20s, which is fine with me. And yeah, we've got a little Airbnb. So yeah, we're going to do loads of content. But yeah, I mean, plans wise, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be wrapping stuff up with my farm. And um, and yeah, just trying to get on TikTok and Instagram a bit more because I have been away and I need to I need to start putting out a bit more content again. Well, listen, keep smashing it. You're Thank you. All over socials anyway. <laughs> uh, I go on your I went on your Insta before you come here and I was just scrolling through and you're you're smashing it. You oh, always thank have been, you, genuinely. Bless you. Keep smashing it. Look yeah. forward to seeing you again. Yes. Oh, maybe, for- maybe I can come on after January and let you know how the farm thing turned Hopefully, out. Hopefully, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Well, maybe you know what we do? What? While you're building the farm, we'll do a little video about the, you building it. Yeah, that's good. Something like that. A little yeah. day in the life of Bonnie. Something like that. Yeah, Bonnie on the farm. Yeah, Bonnie on the farm. No, I don't actually want to film that. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Guys, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.